Welcome back everybody, it's Malclair here, back in the video, and today guys, we're gonna continue back on Court's Party. Uh, I did say in the last episode, um, that I will be doing the other endings, but I'm just like, now at this point, it happened, it is what it is, I need to continue on with the series, so, I'm gonna move on to chapter 2, no holding back, I hope you guys enjoy chapter 2, it is. Where are we at? <laughs> I don't remember being here. Phew. That should just d about do it. I ha I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kishinuma. Does he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I ever had to lift in my life was chopsticks. And he expects me to lug around a damn pommel horse. Ayomi, this is one per that is one pretty sight. Huh? What is that booty you got? Oh man, she still has the comedy. What? Here, this is way cuter. Mine's all plump like a duck. What are you saying? You got what they call the childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get when you get older, you can pop out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four of my children my own. Four. Four. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy really happy. Oh, Brad, when the music start going on like that, that's how you know it's about to pop off. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yep. Chapter two, guys. Chapter two. Isn't that the teacher? Yeah, it's, it's the teacher. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? She was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Ugh. Why did I just do that? Oh, but she was with the other two, though. That's good, though. I mean, as long as they can find Naomi, they will be fine. And why is she freaking out in my ear? Shinozaki, it's alright. Please calm down. But, you heard it too, outside, her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I'd give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice, I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out. Though, I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can see figure out what it was for, sure. You two stay right here, okay? <laughs> Miss Yui, wait. Don't leave us. Shinozaki? It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Oh, okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance, until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful though. How she expect to keep people out of harm's way? We know, as the viewers and myself, we know that the ghosts can come through walls and shit. So, y'all not safe either way, so y'all gonna have to leave out of there anyway. No, it's better to stick together, bro. <laughs> Don't be like Naomi and Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kichinuma. I'll be back in two. No <laughs> I'll be back in no time. My bad. No problem. 
I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness. Or this agia. But when I think about my possibility of something... About the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students. I can feel a near found, newfound energy welling up from within me. Do we get to play with her? I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. I don't know what she's talking about. This ain't no video game. Valor. The name is Education. Oh, we, we playing as her. Okay, facts. Say no more. Say less. Alright, so we're playing as Miss Yui. We'll go hungry and die for star of starvation. Yep, here goes the notes. That reminds me. Poor Monette's all alone. He must be one hungry kitty by now. Uh, let's go in here, actually. Um... Can you find things in desks? Uh, pro probably not. Uh, let's see what's in here. A disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into a cabinet, filling each shelf of overflowing to overflowing. Looking closely, there are an excessive number of bugs excitedly scampering all over. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. That's nasty, dude. All right, let's see what this note says. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Over the past months, the numerous children have gone missing with, uh, within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. All right, no, yeah, let me, let me take a, uh, all right, each of the courts appeared. Yeah, we already read that. That was in the newspaper. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. I'm like, get away from the door at this point, like, <laughs> don't go in there, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I mean, I could have just gone around, but nah, they just want to make life even harder for me. So we can't continue on that way, so we gotta go this way. It didn't give me many options to go, but up. What is that? Hmm, it's a key, isn't it? Label on the key reads 3A. Take it. That's the door that we were trying to unlock, right? Alright, let's go up here and see what this says. No teachers are allowed on the third floor. And why the hell not? All right, let's go over here, open up this door and see what's gonna happen over here because I'm pretty sure something stupid is gonna happen. All right, there we go. All right, it's getting quiet, it's getting quiet. Oh my gosh, I don't like it. I kicked my table. I hope y'all don't hear that doom sound in my mic, but... Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decide to stop shaking and shivering with the others two back in, uh, 1A, did you? I'll have you know I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see, regrettably. That won't be possible. This school is just in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but... Wait, uh, overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions, which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another, or maybe you can find some means of transversing the planes freely as they do. Consider this fair warning. 
even if you should find the exact spot from which your student scream emanate, she herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other ch children have been brought here quite recently, children who by all appearances are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume they assume here. They're fragments, fragmented. You say you heard a scream? That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. Dude, so, so basically when she screamed no, they probably heard it a few minutes or an hour ago. That's crazy, dude. No, it may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? <laughs> With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one other, one another, small influence on one another, even when out of sync. Okay. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. You're telling a ghost to step aside. I mean, <laughs> he has more power over you. All right, let's see. The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implant, implement. Kitchen knives, surgical tools, uh, chessels, etc. All appear us unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one shelf, this cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. <laughs> oh no. Now nah, he's mad, bruh. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damned co- <laughs> I told you to leave. <laughs> and you didn't want to leave. Uh, an earthquake? I mean, he's dropping things. Man. Oh! Wait, that had knives and shit in it. That had knives and shit in it. Dude! She's about to die. <laughs> in all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individual of them all are you school teachers. So, is this the dude that was trying to tell us to go back? And he gave us a warning, so now he's pissed. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held irresponsible if something should happen to them. This really, really hurts. I, I bet it does. You have a knife. You have a few knives in your back. You're all the same. Every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. It's a corrupt mind. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to be, get involved, have to keep up appearances, right? You just keep, you just pick out the problem children and chip away at the little by little, chip, chip away at them by little by little until they're either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. Not. I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. You, you're wrong. Oh, dang, he made it heavier? All of your students are desti destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb to a depression and kill themselves first, there's no other possible outcome. They are all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Oh my gosh. Can we, can we just like keep the teacher alive? Like, I need her? Any last words, bitch? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. I'll tell you them. I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Spare. I love that laugh. Voice acting on this is great. 
Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happened to me. Just please, spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to take care of, to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know, when you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable and unimaginable. And you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day. Forevermore. Ask me to spare you? It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Oh, they're making me make a decision. They're making me make a decision. Because I feel like if I say spare me, he's gonna kill me anyway. But if I say spare my students, he's gonna kill me anyway. And so I, 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 I'm probably gonna die either way, so... This is a hard decision. I, I don't know what to say. Spare my students. They need to live. Don't you harm a hair on their heads. You hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. Oh! Oh! I just arched my back after hearing that. This is excruciating. I think my ribs cage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look li just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Everybody live. Aw, come on. I knew he was gonna kill me either way, so I love you all. So he lost the teacher and I even 15 minutes into the gameplay. What? Whoa! Another earthquake? I think it's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Miss Yui. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going! Alright, alright, alrighty. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen, but no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. Alright, let's see. Can I save it? What's down there? I just seen something. Something's down there. I actually want to probably extend this a little bit longer. Let's see what's down here. I don't think I can get in. Yeah, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, uh, there's no way of getting that. So, let's either go down or up. Let's see if we can meet up with her. And if they do find her, do something changed. 
something don't seem right right here. What the? It looks like a dead end. Did this happen during that last earthquake? Miss Yui, where are you? I'm really worried. So he blocked off the path for us. So... Oh boy, this is bad. Oh crap, it's quiet in here. Something's about to pop off. Certainly a large amount of human hair. Oh, Alright, read this. Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Okay, we already know about this. We read it a billion times. They're going to back up, and then they're going to be like, oh, boy, that's bad. Oh, no. No, they didn't. Oh, wait. It's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinozaki, do you have any more of the those can candles like the ones you lit during the ghost story? I do? How about we lit, light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. See, see, this is where everything is. Alright, but... Anyway, guys, let me save this real quick. Alright, anyway, guys, I'm in the episode right here. I know it's kind of getting annoying that I ended it like 20 minutes, but, you know, you boy got to leave it, leave it on the cliffhanger, you know, but... Anyway, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button, also the bell notification to stay up to date with all the videos that come to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay saucy, my dudes.